What's going on team and welcome back along to Global Rugby Manager where today we are taking on the Buffalo Tigers and our big crunch match that will either make or ultimately break our chances this season to make the playoffs. If you tune into the last few episodes you'll know exactly where we sit. Fifth and sixth between us in sixth and the Tigers in fifth. This is a huge, huge game. We lose this, we're consigned to not making the playoffs. We pull off the victory and we could be halfway there with our penultimate game of the season up against the last place side. And then we'll see where they are at the end. But our last game of the season was up against a team in that bottom third as well. So hopefully we can pull on a display here tonight against the Tigers and put ourselves in that prime position to go back where we belong. We are off to a shaky old start, whoever it is you've just been tuning into. We lost that line out, which was uh, a real, real shame. But um, we'll see if we can recover. He's in touch, isn't he? Surely, surely, assistant referee. Well, he's going backwards here. The uh, big loose said propped over. Going nowhere. Nelly, well, he's lost the ball as well. It's a disaster of a run from the big number one. We've got the ball, boys. Let's make something happen. Our team has undergone a lot of changes this season. New halfback or new scrum half. We've lost the ball again. A new pairing in the centres. We've had injuries all over the place, especially in the front row and in the second row as well. And the back row for that matter. All over the place. We've had injury concerns. But hopefully today we can put that all behind us, prove we have great depth and um, really make a chase for those playoffs. Here is... The Tigers, great run there from Lewis, finding Ruth out wide as well. Here's McCulloch going for a bunch storming run, the big second rower. And he gets them up over the 10 meter line as well. Big run there from the Tigers. It's a set chance, no, not taken. Lamb is the man. And he charges straight into our defense. They come back near side and they find the room. Sojo with a bit of a stamp and a bit of a shimmy. Pull being taken down just outside the 22. We've got two and a half almost minutes gone here. There's a bit of a dummy in a shape to look away before it is Lamb once more. The big number eight who charges straight. Look at that far side. We are outnumbered so badly defensively out here. We've got to shut this down quickly. We don't. They get out to Bailey who slips inside trying to get past Gossard. The offload is beautiful as well. It's the first try. It's not for us, which is a shame. It's Danny Jabir who grabs the army points of the game. The Buffalo Tigers are on the board. Something was going to get hit then. There was a frustration hammering about to go down on poor old keyboard. But I, I withheld. I withheld the temptation. It's still early days. I mean, it's only five minutes in. Let's not get too angry just yet. There's some great chasing defense there. Stanfield, the big fullback, got absolutely pumped. There's a kick away from Lua Ravu. Gets them outside the 22, but not by much. Big chance here for the invaders to hit back. Our line out has been a shambles already in this game. And it's picked up from Sojo. We are behind this one big time as it's the Tigers who are playing much better rugby in this opening five and a half minutes. But they have lost the ball, which is a big turnover there for us. Our line out's not working. Our defense isn't working. Kicking is working. Oh, that is a cracker of a kick from Simon van der Duplessis. Let's put pressure back on their line out now as Holloway throws and that's too easy for them. They try to maul it, but we contend nicely. And it's a try score, Jubea, who is shut down. Now here's Margalette with a nothing kick. Finding Matt Ward, who's put an even worse nothing kick. It's straight up for Muhammad. Oh, what a season it would be to give Phil the ultimate send-off. We've got to get as many matches out of him as we can. We go near side. It's Gossard up in the line. Hammered. No way through there for Bartomoli. Can we hit back instantly? We're only seven minutes in. Chance at the short side. We wing it inside. Ross Taris. What an offload. Oh, we've knocked it on. Blaine van der Merwe with the goal line begging. Spills the ball. Scrum is steady enough as Jenkins misses the man. The big desperate sprawl. And then she gets it kicked away through, through uh, Rivero who has thumbed that all the way up to almost halfway. And it's the invaders now, they have to attack all the way back. Another 45 meters to go. 
We should have had that open try for us there. That was a great opportunity. We've lost the ball again. I don't like where this game's going already, team. I really don't like where this game's going. It's eight and a half minutes in. Tigers in control. The 5 0 lead so far over the Invaders. Let's hope there's not too many of those tries coming their way as they keep plugging the corners. The big kick down there. Don't worry, though. Bartimol, Bartimol, he's got that. Well, it's been quite the period since I last caught up to you guys on a highlight of this matchup. But there we go. I was about to say the Tigers have a huge chance to actually put another try on the board down in line out just outside our 22. We've actually turned their line out over for a change, which is very comforting to see because I we're in a world of trouble there. 33 minutes gone, though. It's only seven now until half time. This game has been a real stalemate battle between the two teams and have had injuries to boot as well. So things, oh, big chance down. Here's a chance for us. Chase there, Patel, oh, brilliant. What an outstanding play. Hadar Patel scores and the advantage strike back. That was opportunistic of the highest quality. Hadar Patel gets us the ball, gets the charge down, chases hard and puts the invaders on the board. Duplessis converts the try and it is 7-5. We lead by just the two points. Boy, oh boy, tell you what, that was something top class, wasn't it? From Hadar Patel. Now we need to clear our lines, make our way to half time. Oh, big tackle on Matt Ward. I love having the two guys that can kick and really just Oh, it, it revolutionizes our whole back line having guys that can do both those roles of clearing our, our area, clearing our 22, getting us upfield, putting in good kicks too, raking off the meat. It's not little, you know, crappy taps like some of the midfielders do, like Wozcheck. Doesn't really get the full thumper on it. So, oh, this is a great break. Again, it's Javier. He is an outstanding player, but we turn it over. We've done the work there, boys. We've got the ball back. Let's clear out 22 again and say, you want to score another one? Have another go because that wasn't good enough. This is a good kick to up over towards halfway. Not quite over. Great kick from Simon Thander. Three minutes to go to the break, though. And it's been a, a really, really tussle of a first half. Interesting rugby so far. Let's see who's going to make the break. It looks like it's going to be a bit of a low scorer as well, which is very interesting. Oh, I tell you what, I tell you what, our kick chase game has exploded since that last try highlight. Now we're going to find me the scrum. You just saw the end of it. A little chip and a chase um, got us the chance to put their fullback into their own goal and get us that five minute scrum. Now we could turn it to points. Matt Ward! Oh, brilliant! Absolutely outstanding. Matt Ward with the play through the defender, put the fan out, found Barcelona, the finisher on the left edge. Great try, Invaders. You get the chance. You make that play. You get that clutch moment. And you turn it into points. The Invaders are doing the job here tonight so far. Brilliant work by us. I'm really loving what we're doing. The chip and chase. Putting pressure on the chase. Forcing him into his own goal. Getting that five-minute scrum. It's all hard work that gets the reward. You've got to put in those hard yards first. We're doing it brilliantly so far. Our kicking, though, is outstanding. Duplessy and Ward are putting immense pressure on the Buffalo Tigers. Here is Chris Williams. See what I mean? That's, that's not a big out-and-out out, you know, kicker throwing the ball away. So that was an average kick. But still, Chris Williams gets us up towards halfway and we can look to set our defense and almost shut that down. That was a little bit dangerous. No one is defending. They've got two players on their far wing, on their right side attack. We've got no one. Andre Bucco is our last player. He ain't going to get anywhere near those guys. And somehow they keep persisting in coming to this left side attack. I'm not sure why. Again, still, we're far too narrow. Far too narrow, boys. Here's a big chance to mount wide. They go McCulloch again. Gets into our 22. I don't know how we cover that. We really shouldn't be able to cover that. They go again. Bailey. Oh, flat pass to a Banks. And the scrum half gets into the 22 by a whisker. Here is Stanfall up from full, oh, fullback again. Jameer. He is a tough customer. The best player for them by far. We've turned it over. Yes. Patel is there. He'll play scrum half. And I hope he gets it to someone who can kick. Matt Ward. What do I tell you guys? Having a 12 who can kick. 
is outstanding. Matt Ward has been a revelation in this team, and I'm loving what he has brought to this side. It is 14-5. We lead nicely by nine points, and I'm happy with what we've done so far. Let's keep it up. Well, we've just ticked over the L mark. It's another dangerous opportunity here for the Buffalo Tigers. Their line out just outside our 22, and they're working it very nicely out wide to Sojo. Big chase there for Gossard. Fed it away. Oh, what a curry back. That was brilliant covering. How did he get there to make this stop? I don't even know. Marcus Palmer, do we give him the credit? Here's a run to the corner. Lamb! Oh, he's over. Max Lamb scores, and that silences the home fans. Great try, great show of power from the number eight. And the conversion is astray once more. Well, the goal kicking is letting them down here, isn't it, Tigers? It is 14-10, but it should possibly and could possibly be 14 all if they nail their kicks. This is a real arm wrestle of a game so far. I think I've said that a few times, but it is just too evenly matched. Size. It's a drop ball. McCulloch has done brilliantly. Another name who has been consistently standing out for them. He's been brilliant. Here is Rossicki, Hendricks, and Hargreaves. Oh, an injury to them now. Brilliant. About time they got one. Kicked away from Margalet. Down the two. Bartomoli Gossard. And he is going to put that onto his boot. Over the head of the engine. Play it into touch. Knock on. Brilliant. Stanford makes the error. Let's see if we can turn this into points. 65 in now. We only lead by four. We need more tries. That was an interesting little run there from Chris Williams. Shaped like he was going to go to the backs. Then put the accelerator on and almost went straight through. Matt Ward. Great continuity there by the forward to get in there and secure the ball again. Duplessis. Chris Williams at pace. Nice again. Good cover. Thomas gets across. Makes that hit in the ruck. And we secure the ball again. Now he's Matt Ward again. Bang. Straight in goes Patel. We go short this side. Bucko holds it up. But straight there is a pile of forwards. Our ruck retention is brilliant. We have numbers on that far side. I would quite like it if they went there and used them, please. Jenkins. Ed. Whatever you want to call yourself. Get it out there. That ball's been spilt. Cooper's gone wide. And Duplessis. Just a, a real shocker of a pass. We make something of that. Not bad, though. Here is Jenkins again. We go to that far side. That is a sweeping pass. And Alexander Thomas has made his way out into that left side. Don't get much out of him. Here's a quick ball. Kai Penny. Oh, I thought that was Phil Muhammad for a second. I saw the blonde here. And I thought, if this is Phil, he's gone. Unfortunately, it was probably the, the worst case of that. Here is Palmer inside ball to Blade Van Amara. The tight five. Getting involved here together, working the front row and the second row. Front ball! Matt Ward hits it at a punishing pace. Gets dragged down in the 22. Let's put this to bed, boys. Let's put this one away. Through the middle is Palmer. Shaping, offloading as well. Josh Evans holds it up and takes the tackle down. We go another few metres. We're toiling inside their 22. Has a break! Oh, Sam Cooper! Just goes straight through. And gets us with a five. Numbers on the left. Wide ball out to Phil. Steps aside, Phil. Just about gets there. Amina Sean. Give it to the big boys. Charge it up. Ross, you're right there. No, we got the backs. Ooh, Duplessis gets smashed. Matt Ward's right there, though. Secure the ball again. Now we go to the forward. Sam Cooper. Oh, brilliant. Outstanding work from the big man, Sam Cooper. He's playing in seven. He's been outstanding tonight. He was the one that got us from the 22 to five metres out. They went wide, come back in, and that is somehow not out, but it's been knocked on anyway. Oh, big tackles. Big, big tackles here. Oh, got to give that Sam Cooper, though. Outstanding mark from him. It so quickly went, but we've done outstandingly well to keep that continuity, that their momentum going with us yet again and with 11 minutes to go they're straight through here lamb and now they're in our 22 this guy like could go on for the full match at this rate into the short side hard reads oh brilliant again outstanding from the tigers and michael savage scores what is he as another flanker the two number sevens having a field day here in this well third to last game of the season but ultimately the most important game of these two teams season there is not much between us and we have 
Just eight and a half minutes left to play. Do we just stick with this? It's less than a score in it. It's 21-17 now. The kick was good. And Stanford has cleared them out of their 22. It is action-packed. I tell you what, this is a game that has really got everything in it so far. Our line-out's a shocker. He's picked up nicely from Jenkins, though. Do we have one more play in our bag? Oh, bucko! Brilliant work! Get it out wide, Chris Williams! Where's the skill, Chris? Where's the dummy? Where's the sidestep? Had to do more with that, Mr. Williams. That is a real shame. The lead, though, is still four points, and we have just over seven minutes to play now. Away it goes to Luaravu, who's kicked this nicely in the touch. He's a very good kick. And Gossard feels it over his half. And now we've got to kind of play. Oh, we've lost our line out again. That's not good. We need to shore out that set piece. And a two charging runs there. One ball rolls out of Fender. We hit back with a big tackle. The Banks goes out to Mark Lantern. Slaying through Rivero. This could be it. This could be the decider. Oh, intercepted by Duplessis. Advantage offside. Yes, we've got advantage. That's advantage for us. We'll use it. Duplessis goes high. But the referee will call this back, surely. It's a good kick, actually. He's gone back for the penalty. We'll take that. Wind down the clock, boys. Wind it down. We can't afford to give them time. We lead. We have to slow it down. We've got to control the tempo. We have to make them play. And we've got to win a damn lineout. Absolute shocking so far. We get in the mall, though. And the mall is a safe place to be. Josh Evans doing the hard yards. We've got short side. We've got no one really out there with Phil. He's gone straight to touch. Winds down the clock a bit more, though. Four and a half minutes to play. Our line out has been devastating. Absolutely devastating. Out the back of the hand it goes. And now Lamb to Magalhaen again. Breaks one tackle. And almost gets away. This is big. We've got to win this game. Four points is all. One point is enough. I don't care. Oh, my goodness me. Tomo has just destroyed Chris Williams. How is your neck, mate? Because that was an absolute punishing hit. Here come Tiger. Oh, great drop off board. Magalhaen, Rivero again chopped. Knock on. Big advantage out for us. We come out wide to Marcus Palmer. We hold it up. Maybe play the advantage, guys. Milk the penalty. Go back for the scrum. Do what you do. Tap it to the corner. Or just play it out. Advantage on our side. Or do for six smash. We'll go back. We've lost that, surely. No. The ref takes it back. Oh, Avis. Oh, what to them? What? He mustn't have released. Our advantage must have been over. Oh, no. There's another one of our injured players you've just seen. Uh, Clyde Edwards. Oh, that's knocked on by them. Yes. Boys. Yes. We've I mean, had a number of injuries tonight. I've not even gone through them with you. Uh, Clyde Edwards is on. Yep, Chris Williams. I think he got killed further back. You saw that big hit on him. Stanfield, he's got the ball. He's put in a crossfield bomb. Right on halfway. This is really weird. Oh, it's been beautifully claimed. Well, it was a weird kick. But Lurava has made an outstanding job of it. Here come the Tigers looking to ooh, shut this down. But Patel is the man on defense. That puts in again a good piece of play. Straight and hard. Lewis goes in to Bucko. Stops him in his tracks. Now they find his own oh, big tackle. Phil Muhammad. This is massive. We're stepping it up here, boys. We really are going to another level. Defensively, we're shutting them out. But they are making errors. And Slam through again. He has been an absolute thorn. Pass to McCulloch. Now we're in danger. Sancho would have been gone. A minute to play. One minute to play. I will be livid if we don't seal this deal. On the 22. A drop he won't do, Tigers. Oh, yes! In the center of Bucko! Go, Bucko, go! Wind it down, boys. Wind it down. They've dropped the ball. They've thrown intercepts. They've made errors. They've made mistakes. And we have just held on. Patel gets his kick away. Savage is there. He's put in a kick to no one in particular. Phil Muhammad, he is the calm head in his team. Matt Ward, another calm head. Duplessis, calm everywhere. But calm is under pressure. Can calm keep us in the lead? 
Blaine van der Merwe, great run by him. Jack Cairns, great pass. Running a pace, Sam Cooper, who has been amazing tonight as well. Duplessis, a flat wobbly one. Out wide to Kai Penny. Rides the defensive challenge. Gets this nicely over the 10 line. Now we're going to add a Cooper again. Straight in there's Ross Taras. Doing those hard yards. We've done it very well tonight. Straight into it goes Matt Ward. He's lost the ball. Time was up. What were we doing? Boys, time was up. Sam Cooper has just got up. Hargreaves goes over halfway. Why didn't we kick it out? Bonus point if we scored a try, but I mean a win is so much more important. Pick that up. It's loose. It's Stanfield uh, from fullback. Beating tacklers all over the place. Out wide for Savage. Have they had a winger? That could have been a chance. Turn it over, boys. No, we've not turned it over. Outside out 22. 80 minutes is up. They go short side. A bank to drag down. Now they open it up. Stanfield's in the line. Defensive duties are off the table. Turn over. Come on. Oh, we were all over that. You've got to play it down big time. Another chance. Not coming our way. Holloway does well. Lamb, look out for him. Jobir, the only try scorer. They are outside the 22 by a couple of meters. Into midfield. Margolin intercepted. Raw Marcus Palmer. Get it out. Now. Thank you. Simon Fander. The man that saves the day for the invaders. And we win this clutch game versus the Tigers. Ross Taras picks our man of the match. And I tell you what, that was a game of rugby. That was a real hardworking victory against a very good Tigers team. We had to work for every split second of opportunity we got in this game. We aren't more than anything else. And we have done it. Victory is on our side. A whisker or not, it doesn't matter. The Invaders win, we've beaten the Tigers. And we can take that one well and truly to the back. Let's take a look at the stats. 21-17, boy, that was a good game. Their last 10 minutes was to and fro. Both sides having chances, but you know what won us this game? Not our try scoring, maybe our defense, but above all else was our ability to kick goals. Three out of three conversions for our good buddy, Simon Fanta Duplessis. One out of three for the Buffalo Tigers. That, my friends, is why we won this game. That was those four points of difference. What a performance it was by the Invaders. Look at these stats though. Possession, we just lost out there, but territory, we nudged them by a tiny margin. Tackles were almost dead even. Missed tackles almost dead even. Three tries apiece. Five handling errors apiece. Eight to seven offloads. Everything, 103 attacking rucks each. I've never seen that dead even before like that. Turnovers won, nine and nine. No penalties. Conversions. That's where we won it. Line out to Warnett. 18 to 20. Very close. Stolen. 1 to 2. Scrums to Warnett. Close. Time in the red zone. Close. This was a battle. This was war against the Buffalo Tigers. But I tell you what, my friends. We are the victors. How do we perform? Ross Taras, man of the match. He made eight tackles and forced one turnover. He didn't do anything fancy. He didn't score tries. He would have beat defenders, but he did. What have I said so many times? The hard yards. That is what won us this game. Let's have a look at our ratings. The front row, Vandermeer over, back from injury, and put up a good solid 40.3. Bucko was okay at 26. Alexander Thomas, very quiet for a man of his stature. Just a 20. Into the senior row, Marcus Palmer. Big performance at 38.5. And Kai Penny alongside him at 25.9. Into the back row. Oh, big, big, big performances here by these three. Josh Evans at 6. 45. Sam Cooper at 7. Probably deserves more, but only a 45. And, of course, Ross Taras, the man of the match, was the guy with a 64. Moving into the back line. And we had 
well, a number of concerns here from injuries. But Ed Jenkins picking up a 40. Simon Thander a 36. Uh, midfield, Matt Ward a 39. And Watschek got injured after seven minutes. Just a 5.9 for him. Chris Williams, you saw, got injured right at the end. Uh, he picked up a 38. A good display by him. And on the other wing, it was Phil Muhammad, of course, with a 44. Fullback, Barcelona de Gossard, 43.5. Good performance by him as well. He is losing his effectiveness. He's not as an impactful player as he was in seasons gone by. Off the bench, uh, Clyde Edwards, a 9.8. And Hotel Patel, well, he scored that try, didn't he? Straight on the field and got that big chase charge down and then scored the try off his own charge as well. He picked up a 39.7, played most of the game. Very comfortable at this level is Haidar Patel. You know we've got? We've got death. And we've got fighters that are going to be with us till the bitter end. The invaders do it. We take the win. And we are going up the table. Yes, it's hard to the playoffs. Well, I'll tell you what, team. That was an impressive display by the Invercargill Invaders. And look what it has done to the table. We sit proudly now in fourth position. We have a winning record. Four wins, three losses only. 20 points. We go one above the Memphis Blues, who we defeated a few rounds ago. We are now two ahead of the Buffalo Tigers, who we just defeated and put them now into a losing record. Next up, you may see soon, I'll show you in a minute, we play the Worcester Werewolves, who are at last without a victory and have conceded a whole boatload of points throughout the season. But if we can win that, win our last game as well, we can secure ourselves that playoffs spot. Now remember, it is in our own hands now. We've won this game against the Buffalo Tigers. We're probably not going to beat or catch up with the Raptors or the Cobras or the Venom. They are miles away, nine points ahead of us now. Look at their record. The Venom and the Cobras have not lost and the Raptors have lost just the one. Those teams are looking incredible. If we make the playoffs, we probably won't make it past the first round, but it is the goal every season to get that far. We've made it though. I think we can do it. We've made and beaten our big, crunching, decisive matchup, which was the Tigers who were ahead of us. Now we've done a complete flip on it. You can see the results down the bottom there as well. Um, other results from the round, the uh, Cobras, the big win over the uh, Boars, the Windhawk Boars, and the London Force going down in a big way for the Raptors, 98 points to 20. More big results here as well. The Birmingham Zulu, 50 to 38 over the Werewolves. And remember, we smashed the Zulu as well. Memphis Blues went down by 29 points to the Cape Town Venom, 39-10. Uh, and of course, our match that we just watched, great game it was, 21-17. The Invaders get the job done this weekend. The final round is the one we want to look at, but just before we do, we'll look into round eight of the competition. You can see here, the Invercargill Invaders on the road, but that's okay because we're playing the Werewolves, who like we've already talked about, they are last, they are winless, and they've just been thumped by a good 70 or so points as well. We've got to win that one. Bonus point would be crucially good for us. We can keep that five points or, you know, above the Memphis Blues. Who, they, who do they play? Oh, the Raptors, that is perfect. Absolutely perfect. I tell you, if the Raptors win that, we could well and truly secure our place in the playoffs with one round remaining. You would have thought we'd be able to say that. If the Raptors win, the Blues take no points. We get a bonus point win, which I expect we will against the Werewolves. We will lead them by six. The Tigers, however, could go on to possibly 23 points when they take on the Windhawk Boars, who are down in eighth. So maybe the Tigers could still be a problem for us this season. But overall, really happy we'll be set. We've given ourselves a chance now to attack these playoffs, to be there, to take apart, and to try and upset one of those big dogs in the top three. Can we do it? Stay tuned for the next two weeks to find out, and of course beyond, if we make those playoffs. Thank you all for tuning and watching. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. It was a bit exciting. It was a bit tense. It was a bit nerve-wracking, to be completely honest. That's how big a game this one was. So thank you all for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, do leave a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe so you don't miss the other week's 
of the, the season. And of course, where this journey takes us as well. More importantly though, if you do want to play GRM or Global Rugby Manager, you can join for free. It costs you nothing. You can have your team. You can take on a whole bunch of other people that play this game. Check out the forums. There's heaps of hints and tips there as well. GlobalRugbyManager.com is all you need to know. Go there, check it out, get yourself involved in this brilliant little management simulator. It is the best you can do in rugby. And of course, Rugby Champions runs off the same engine as well. So that's why it is such a good management sim and such a good playing sim as well. Get involved, go check it out, and I'll see you all next week for our big match against the Werewolves. Five points is the order of the day. Can we do it? Stay tuned to find out. Until then, take care.